Like you whiskey loving champions to another episode of Was It Worth Whiskey? And today we're going to be reviewing the Glenlivet Caribbean Reserve. So it's a fairly new one on the market. It only came out about, I don't know, about a year ago. And I thought, being that it's quite a new uh, rum cask finished whiskey, I thought we would uh, review it back to back with something that we all know very well, or a lot of us do, the Balvini 14 year old. So without any further ado, let's start it off. So the Caravan, the um, Glenlivet is uh, 40 ABV, um, nothing special about it, no age statement, so we have obviously have no idea how old it is, I'm guessing it's fairly young. Um, 40 ABV, sure it's got colouring and I'm sure it's chill filter but uh, on this side I might just pour just now some of the Balvini just to get it breathing a bit there we are. Just for some quick comparisons okay so the Glen Eleven let's give it a bit of a nose Okay, so uh, we get a sweet vanilla straight away. We get a bit of papaya, pineapple. So it's, it's, it's got a very tropical nose to it. Papaya, pineapple. Um, I get a bit of orange in it as well. Yeah, yeah but it, it, definitely. I mean, there's no doubt about it. You smell it, you know it's a, a rum cask finished whiskey but all in all it's, it's it's quite a you know the nose there's quite a few notes on it but it hasn't got any harshness to it which I thought it shouldn't do um, and it's, it's got a, quite a few notes on it I imagine they develop after a while a bit as well hmm. okay on the palate um, I get, I get, funnily enough, I get a bit of apple on the palate and a bit, and then a bit of toffee and then, um, a bit of very light spiciness. It doesn't, it doesn't give you a very full mouthful. Um, it's, it's, it feels in your mouth, it feels a bit watery. And then on the finish, uh, a bit of spice, oak spiciness, um, Maybe a bit of cloves, but it's gone already. It's it. There's a little bit there, but it's, it's very short finish. Hmm. So as we talked about it, let's just do a bit of a nose comparison side by side with the this one's the Balvini, so Caribbean Balvini. Okay, so the Great Limit. So on the Balvini, I get um, a lot more vanilla, brown sugar, orange again. I get some more detailed spices in the Balvini, like some definite like notes of nutmeg and star anise and cinnamon. But it's got, the main thing I notice about it is it's got that more uh, robust oakiness about it. You, you can tell straight away from the nose you can tell the Balbavini's 14 year old and you can tell this one has no age statement and it's probably quite a lot younger. Hmm. On the palate in comparison. Biggest difference I find straight away from the, the uh, Glenlivet Caribbean cast to the Balvini is the, the, the mouth feel. Um, the Balvini, the Balvini is 43 ABV, but that's not much, but it's three more. But it, the Balvini's definitely got a, a much more whole mouthful feel, as whereas the Glenlivet has, um, it's very, like I said, it was very watery, disappeared very quickly, 
It was a bit of a nothingness in the mouth. As the way from the the palate, um, again on on the Balvini, I get uh, sugar and caramel. Um, I get a much more nicer, um, balanced spice on the palate with the Balvini versus the Glenlivet. <clears throat> and the finish, um, the finish on the Balvini is still going. It's much more. It's much more lengthy. Um, I have vanilla, light spices, cinnamon, and coconut. So, all in all, <clears throat> it's clear to me that the Balvini is of a higher quality. Having said that, the Balvini is also a lot more bloody expensive. You know, with Balvini, we're talking about 50 odd pounds, 50, 55 pounds, or or 100 USD or 125 AUD. Whereas the Glen Limit here is only 35 pounds or 45 USD or maybe 80 AUD. So it's almost half the price, meaning that we could go out two bottles of this over one bottle of this. So there's the comparison. But we're here to review this one. So let's give this one a score. Um, out of 100 first. <clears throat> so I'm going to give the nose of the Glenlivet Caribbean Reserve. Um, I'm going to give it a... I'm gonna, the nose was quite nice. I'm going to give it 86 points for the nose. Um, the palette, I'm going to give it 84 points, mainly because of that watery, dismal finish. Um, so it was, just, it was this low impact in the mouth, I thought. So 84 points. And then the finish... I'm going to give it a 80, 84 points as well. Um, or 80, no, actually the finish I'm going to give it like a 80, 82 points, I think. Giving it a grand total, I think, of 84 points for the Glenlivet Caribbean Reserve. Not a bad score. Um, but as we, what's more important, as we all know, on was it worth it whiskey, is was it worth it? Well, like we said, it's a lot cheaper than this one over here. So, in comparison, so we can get this one, like we said, for 35 pounds, 45, 50 USD, or 80 AUD. On that score, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up, six out of 10. I think you'd buy it again. Um, not all the time, it's not always gonna be on my shelf, but if I seen it there and I felt the need for Caribbean cask and I didn't have double the money to spend on this one. Shit, yeah, I'd buy it. Okay. Um, but make this definite. There's no doubt in my mind that the Balvini 14 is by far a superior whiskey, but also a by far superior price. So on that, I'll leave you guys. Till next time. Cheers.